Hello mga kabalero. This is the continuation and the most exciting part of our digital image processing series. We are about to show you the applications of the basic image processing techniques that we thought from our previous videos. Now let's get started. So at first glance, what do you notice on this image flashed on the screen? Aside from this are pili fruits, it is evident that the pili images can be classified into two different classes. The ripe, which are black in color, and the unripe, which are green. This is basically an idea on how human can classify things. We learn them by using our senses. We train our brain so that every time we use or we see an object like this, we can easily recognize the next time we encounter them. This method is the same on how we teach machine to learn and classify objects. So using a machine learning, computers can detect or predict and differentiate between a ripe and unripe pili in an instant. Of course, by applying the skills and the image processing techniques that we have learned from our previous discussions, such as the image enhancement and image segmentation, we can teach computers to classify objects. We will begin our discussion with the image classification using linear support vector machine. I have prepared two separate videos about this topic to give options to the viewers if they want the math behind or just the output in classifying the pili fruits. So if you are looking for the output, please continue watching the rest of the video. But if you want the mathematics behind the LSVM, you may refer to the link on the description below. So to reiterate the purpose of this project, this is to classify pili fruits according to maturity or ripeness. The properties of the pili pulp, especially its color, make it possible to be sorted automatically through the help of LSVM. Since we have two classes that need to be identified, namely the ripe and unripe pili, therefore the idea that I have provided using the simple mathematical approach will be applicable here. By the way, for those who want to see the, ex the exact code, you can replicate the project using MATLAB codes flashed on the screen. So initially, during the training phase of the LSVM, there are three basic steps. First is to load the sample images. And this includes the pre-processing of the images, such as converting to grayscale, and then to binary image. And the other step will be discussed as we move along. Second is to extract the features, which includes the mean of the binary image and its standard deviation. And third is to store and generate the statistics of the image features to a database. So LSVM requires a good number of image samples, which represents the classes for training and SVM or LSVM uses them to extract the features of the images to categorize them into classes. So this is the interface of loading the sample images. You will be asked to enter the class number that corresponds to the loaded image, of course, based on your perception if it's ripe or unripe. And then looking at the binary image, if the black area is few, it is classified as unripe pili, and otherwise it is classi classified as ripe pili. Every time we load an image, the features are appended to the database in matrix form. So for training testing process, the code will also extract the features of the loaded test images and compare them with the training image features using the LSVM algorithm. And these are some examples of the test outcomes. And notice that if the segmented image is not showing lots of black areas, it is classified as unripe pili. And if the, it's the other way around, it is classified as ripe pili. 
Now let me provide you a walkthrough on how the LSB SVM is performed in MATLAB. So you will see here two different uh, training codes or codes. One is for testing and one is for training. So let me run this code to uh, try and input several images to train the LSVM algorithm. For now, I will be showing you uh, three, three examples for unripely and three examples for the ripely, and then we will proceed with the testing and hopefully we will get correct results and predictions of image classification uh, using the LSVM algorithm. So running this code, as expected, we are asked to input the images. Now I have here the Pili database and let us select the first three from our database. So we are asked to enter the class number, but this is how or the image after binarized or become a binary image. So let's close this out and we know that this is class one. And let's rerun this code to input or train the next Pili sample. This is still class one. And let's run the last unripe Pili image. Let's see, let's use this. And this is class one. So let's rerun this code. And then we will now be selecting the ripe Pili corresponds with uh, the, the black colored images in our database. So the class number here is two, but before we hit on two on the class number, this is the image after it's being binarized. Let's rerun the code. Class two, and this would be the last one. I'm just selecting images in random. And this is class two. All right, so we are done with the training. Now, what we will do to test the performance of our um, data set is to go to SVM testing and then uh, both the codes for testing and for training has this feature statistical. And this is a, a way to extract the mean and the standard deviation and also the class that we will uh, that we have provided to the training images. And then for testing, let us try and compare the features. So let's run this code. And then by this time, we will be feeding the algorithm or the model with the test images. So let us select random images from our database. Let's use 175 for testing and look at what happened. This is the binarized image and this is the prompt. So the prediction of our model says detected class one and therefore we say that this uh, test image that we fed is an unripe Pili. All right, so let's rerun this code, the testing, the test uh, code, and then try it for a ripe Pili. Let's use this sample. So here is the binarized image. And the prompt says detected class two. So if there is a big distinction between um, 
the images or the, the classifications, then LSVM is a great algorithm to begin with. So we're done with, with this MATLAB code. Now we will move on to wrap up with uh, showing you an application on how I utilize or leverage this LSVM project to my actual um, thesis idea. So the project which I have created as application of the LSVM uh, classification model is the automated Peely fruit sorting device. So let me show you a quick overview on how this project works. So the sorting process begins from the Peely fruit reservoir linked to the automatic Peely feeder, where the harvested Peely fruits are loaded. So the individual dropping of the pili fruit is controlled by the cycle relay timer and the roller setup. So a motor control was connected in series so that strong spins will be prohibited. A camera is connected to a computer that runs MATLAB codes to determine the mean and standard deviation of the segmented pili fruit images and then load them to a database. So the LSVM implemented in MATLAB determines the boundary so that for every test image, the model compares its parameters to the pili validation database. An Arduino Uno is responsible for sending signals to the servo motor to behave on the classification result. And if the classification outcome resulted on a ripe pili, so that is class two, right? The servo motor's position would change to 0 0.25 angle. And otherwise, if it's an unripe pili or class one, it changes to 0 0.6. And finally, the designated round plastic containers for the ripe and unripe pili fruits used for sorting were placed at the end of the conveyor line to separate the classified ripe and unripe pili fruits. And this ends my presentation, and I hope you enjoy this video. Please keep on watching to learn more about machine learning and artificial intelligence. Thank you very much.